Hi everyone, welcome back to another video recipe. I'm Chef DeVoe and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this stuff. Kelpie mayonnaise or Japanese mayonnaise. Awesome stuff. Let's not waste any more time, let's get straight into it. Let's go. Okay, so first up what you want to do is you want to mix some sugar, some lemon juice and a little bit of rice vinegar in a bowl. Add about half a teaspoon of mustard, perfect, and a little pinch of salt. Some would call that maybe half a teaspoon. Okay, and then just mix that. If you want the measurements for the rest of the ingredients, then click on the link on the top left corner and that will take you to a recipe page where all the ingredients will be listed and their amounts. Just basically dissolve the sugar into this liquid So now you add your vinegar mixture to your egg yolks. Make sure it's all nicely added. Close your food processor and blend. Once the egg yolks are mixed properly like so, you wanna start adding your canola oil. If you don't have canola oil, you can use grapeseed oil and as last resort, you can use vegetable oil. You wanna start adding very little while the machine is on and start incrementing as you progress. Make sure it's nicely incorporated. Okay, oh yeah. so the mayonnaise is now done. It's really thick and dense, and it's not quite there where you want it to be. Now you want to add just a little bit of warm dash stock, and you want to incorporate it slowly. The more you incorporate, the more liquidy it will be. The less you incorporate, the more thick. So just find your preference, but at least the minimum amount that's in the recipe uh, on the link that is appeared on the top left corner of your screen. And just incorporate it slowly. Just the right density, just the right thickness, right taste. I can start a factory now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Stick around for the end and give it a try. I mean, it's it's fun to do. I mean, you have to do it at least once. It's You feel like you've accomplished something, creating something from nothing. All right, thank you for watching this video recipe, how to make Kelpie mayonnaise. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And I really suggest you guys go make KLP mayonnaise at least once, or just mayonnaise in general. I mean, it's a life experience, it's like skydiving. You do it once, check it off your bucket list, and good to go. Now, if you want to see more of my videos, because you love this video a lot, then check out all my other videos by clicking on the right right now. And one last thing, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should do so right now by clicking on the top left corner. It's completely free, and you'll be updated whenever new videos are released, which is usually around Wednesdays. I try to go for Wednesdays, but I don't always hit it. So, you know, I'm human. Forgive me. Anyway, till next week, goodbye.